I had a hard time adjusting my brakes so I will be replacing my old brake pads with new one. This I bought from Lazada for a cheap price. I will also find out why it is hard to adjust the brakes. When I press the brake lever, it is loose because the cable is broken. This is dangerous, we must buy quality cable. I did not break the cable while riding but when adjusting the brakes. I turned the caliper piston clockwise for a grippier brake pad but I guess I over tightened it. So the cable broke when pressing the lever. I'm loosening the brake cable terminal to remove the other part of the broken cable. I'll buy a 1.6 mm cable soon. Here I am now removing the brake caliper to have access to the brake pads. Remove the two bolts then pull. This is the brake pad we need to replace. Well, this is the new brake pad. Here now is the brake caliber I just removed from the bike. We cannot remove the brake pad in this manner. Brake pad can be removed this way but not recommended. I notice this clip is not spread well. It should be spread like this. It will be hard to adjust the brakes because there is short clearance between the two pads. So I just found my adjustment problem and solution. I think the old pad can still be used but I'm not sure. Maybe the clip is really the problem. Anyhow, I will install the new brake pads. I am now loosening two bolts of the brake caliper to open it so that I can insert the new brake pads. I have to mount again the brake caliper because the bolts are stuck. Bolts are loose now. I unmounted again the brake caliper to continue opening it. I can now insert the new brake pads. The brake pad must fit exactly. I will use the clip that is spread apart. The clip must be placed as a barrier between the two pads. Like this.
put the two bolts back again. The caliper is ready to be mounted again. Before mounting, determine the number of spacers needed to align the brake pad and the disc brake. I'll have two spacers between the caliper and the caliper mount. Two spacers for each bolt. I am now tightening the bolts to mount the caliper. To connect the broken cable, I will cut portion of the housing. Pull out the housing from the inner cable and cut. Use sharp cutter especially for inner cables so that the tip will remain intact. With the inner cable inside the housing, navigate it to the caliper until it reaches the tightening bolt. This is the tightening bolt. The new brake pad is now installed and ready for testing. It's working but adjust accordingly. Thank you, please like and subscribe. I am loosening these two bolts of the caliper housing without removing them. Second step, disengage and remove the brake cable. Please note that this is a bad cable. I already ordered a 1.6 Shimano brake cable. Third step is unmounting of the brake caliper from the disc brake. After unbolting, we can pull this out. Fourth step is opening the caliper housing. I already loosened its two bolts in the first step. Fifth step is replacing the brake pads. Here are the new brake pads I ordered from Lazada. Sixth step is assembling back the housing. Seventh step is mounting back the brake caliper. Eighth step is mounting the brake cable.
align the cable along the groove into the bolt. And the final ninth step is testing and readjustment if needed. I will be replacing this cable as soon as possible and this may be my next video. Thank you, please like and subscribe.